Hi, I'm Joel Devell, percussionist and longtime Buchla technician and circuit board designer. What exactly is a marimba lumina? Well, a little history. I demoed this instrument for Neofield Multimedia some years ago, and you can view that demo. But indeed, it was drop by Neofield, and since that time, I have done several shows with the lumina. So it seemed a shame to leave it to myself. So. Per an exclusive agreement, I made it my mission to keep the instrument alive by supporting it, by making them available, and by upgrading them as I saw fit. After all, I played a lot, I helped to develop the software, and I know the circuit boards in and out, and I, I helped to uh, assemble the first few. So it seemed natural. So that became the mission of Absolute Deviation, to keep it alive. Per that, I have posted several videos about some of the capabilities of the marimba, which I like to call just the Lumina, and you can view those as well. But one thing I haven't done is get up and close and personal with the instrument and show you some of the technical specifications in any of these videos. So that's the mission here. First, you see this graphic surface that is optimized for visual contrast, for protection of the surface underneath, and it is entirely smooth and yet diffuse so that there's no glare in stage lighting. It is made up of these bars, strips, and numbered pentagon pads. It's just over 21 pounds, 18 inches wide, and Sixty inches long. Next we have this 80 character display and these hex pads. If I strike the program pad I can select from over 150 different programs with either this strip or the numbered pentagon pads. I also have this hex pad, the edit pad, which brings up a menu that relates to each one of these bars. This item relates to this bar, this item relates to that bar, this item relates to that bar. So I can then strike those and enter a submenu, and then start selecting from it among the options there. If I select an option, the strip lights up, and now I can enter values with the strip. In this way, you can program the entire interface straight from this area without any buttons or knobs. Hit Escape hit reset, and we're back to where we started. Here we have the right side of the Lumina. We have your power input, of course, and your power switch. You have a memory card input here for a memory card that holds up to 50 programs. You've got foot switch inputs. That's these jobs. It's good for sustain or for advancing programs or for even playing notes. You've got a couple of those inputs and up to four. Uh, you've got a pedal input. The pedal input here is for one of these kinds of pedals, for a controller pedal. And you've got a trigger input. This trigger input for, say, one of these. Up to two of them can be used. And you've got MIDI out, of course. In fact, you have two MIDI outs, one that goes to the internal card and can also be independently controlled. And you've got a MIDI input. So if you've got one of these, you have all the capabilities of MIDI outside of this instrument that exist in computers and whatnot. I use that a lot. And of course, if you don't want to use the MIDI output, you could use the internal sound card. That output comes out here. The mallets, of course, are integral. They are made of a hard foam core surrounded by some passive electronics, which I have to hand wrap and tune. And, of course, I can repair. And I try to protect that with a softer foam core on the exterior that gives it a nice light touch. 
they're very light, extremely light, and they're very quiet when you play delicately. And if you just want to hold the mallet down, as you can often just slide around on this instrument, it makes for a nice interface to have a nice, light, easy touch and nice, soft exterior. So that's some info about the mallets and just to let you know there are some people who have asked for special mallets like different colored mallet heads or bird shafts that can be accommodated and in fact I use occasionally I'll use that myself. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit uh, about uh, learning about the Lumina. I enjoy playing it. I think it's a fantastic instrument and I'm happy to share it as necessary. Um, hope to see you at a performance. Please visit my websites uh, if you'd like, AbsoluteDeviation.com or MarimbaLumina.com about this instrument, or just look up my name, Joel DeBell. Thanks.